if you build your console application, I'll just walk you through the lines that I've got here. What this application does is it'll draw an image based on the text that you want it to draw. So you could reutilize this application to draw images based on text strings that are in a database, and you can manipulate it, change it as you need. So first things first, you got to go out to OpenAI and get an account. It's free, but what you what you want to get is the OpenAI key. And you also want to get an OpenAI organization name. Remember, it's free. I'll show you where to put those into this application. So the first thing before we get into the code, go to the properties on your project on your empty console application. And you're going to go down to debug and click on open debug launch profiles UI. You're going to add a new environment in variable all caps screaming caps it's going to say open AI underscore API underscore key and in there you're going to put the key that you got from registering on the open AI website. Don't worry about it when you get there it doesn't say anything about C sharp or .NET that's because it takes REST requests over the internet and their examples are all in Python and Node.js and curls, but that's okay. It works in C-sharp if you follow my video. So come in here and you put in that open AI key. Don't bother copying what I got here. It's not a real key. I've hidden my key, but it looks something like this. Okay. Next, go, to pro go back to your program.cs and remove your hello world and just do like I did here. I'll make it a little bigger and full screen so you can follow along. You can go ahead and do a right line saying what you want to enter your text or you can of course pull your text from the database or from wherever else but if you're just doing copy one for one you want a real simple app then you're going to do a console.read line to get that text. Next you're going to do an HTTP client. Create a new HTTP client and create an HTTP request message it's important that you put it as post and not as get if you're doing the images as opposed to one of the other open AI methods. I'm calling HTTPS open AI. We're using version one of the image image generations. Let me zoom in so you can see that URL. There it is here. Pause the video. Copy that into your application. There's an S at the end. Okay. Next, we're going to connect with a bearer token and here's where you get that environment variable that you set in your project properties. Next you're going to add open AI organization to the headers and once again this is something that you have to get from your open AI account that you, when you go to register. You should see this under organizations. I can show you how to get there. Next we're going to create an object. In my case um, I just put three properties prompt, size, and n. n is 1. Size is the size of the image you want. I did 1024 by 1024 because that's the example they have when they're giving the Node.js and their curl examples. But you can put whatever you want. I imagine it would work. You check their documentation. And then the prompt is where you put in the text about what you want to create. Next, you're going to create that content string. In my case, I'm just serializing this object and we're going to tell it that it, it's JSON data that we're putting into it because I did JSON serialize here. And then we just go ahead and get the response just as you would with any other REST request. I'm deserializing into a class that I created. I'll show you what it looks like. Basically, you've got a created and an array of, U of objects with just one property that's URL. You'll see why I did that in a minute here. Back in your program.cs, you're going to take the URL as the first item in the result data. And I did a process.start that just launches an application in your uh, on Windows. And I'm launching um, process start info. I'm going to go ahead and launch basically a web browser with a file name by processing the file name is that URL. That's like just hitting start or going to file explorer in Windows and typing in the URL. And I'm saying go ahead and execute that with the shell. So it's going to go to that URL in the browser. Let's give it a whirl. So what I like to use is my examples for OpenAI. It's something that's impossible to see. My wife gave me the great idea of doing a rainy desert. 
So why don't we do a horse praying or a praying horse? So it's like a horse doing a prayer. And I don't know how long it normally takes, but it seems to me like it takes about 20 seconds. Could be my connection speed to the internet or something else. And I guess that's a praying horse. That's it, folks. What I'll do is I'll post two URLs in the comments so you can see where to go to sign up for this OpenAI free account and how to get where to go to get those two keys, the one that goes here in your debug launch profiles UI and the other one, your environment variable that is, and the other one that goes directly in the code. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.